shares. It's here from the working nerd and welcome to the new series on the my YouTube channel and blog. It is on how to do Tunisian crochet. So the first one up is the foundation row which I have right here which will serve as the basis for your Tunisian stitches. So let's get started. To do the foundation row for Tunisian crochet is the same way as if you were to do it for regular crochet or traditional crochet. So we're going to do a slip knot. The way I do a slip knot is I take the end of the working yarn, wrap around my two fingers once, then twice. The sec the second time that I go around is always going to be right after. So here's the first time, here's the second time. And then I want to take my crochet hook. I'm going to go under the first, over the second, and then hook it to bring it forward. So through that first um, loop. And then I'm just going to tighten up. And there is your slip knot. So for the foundation row, let's chain 10. So we're going to yarn over, pull through that loop, and there goes your first chain. Yarn over, pull through the loop, second chain. Yarn over, pull through, and there goes three, your third chain. So let's chain 10, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. So very similar to regular crochet, but here's where it's going to differ. We want to turn our work, our from um, the foundation chain, and you see where these chains create bumps because on the other side is where the bees. It creates bees, the chains. So here's that bee. But when you flip it, there are bumps right here. We're going to work in those bumps. It helps a little bit with the curling when working through the bumps. And it will give you a nicer finish at the, the bottom of your work. So we're going to skip this first one because we don't want to undo our last chain. So in the second bump, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, Normally, with crochet, we will be pulling through another loop, so there will be one, but we're collecting loops with Tunisian crochet. And then there, so we got two loops. And when you're working those loops onto your hook, you want it to slide them down into the body of the hook because at the throat of the hook, it's not the size of the, the, the crochet hook. It's not even, as you can see. It's not the same width. The, this hook is nine millimeter, and the nine millimeter is being measured around the body of the, the hook. So we always want to slide down our loops to make sure that it's the same width of each loop. And we want to make sure that it moves freely. If it starts getting like you can't do so, then your loops are too um, too narrow, uh, too small, and it's going to create problems for you as you're working through those loops. So let's go on to the next one. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, slide it down make sure it's the right width 
next one. And then as you're working to the next one, it'll normally um, slide up, and that's okay because when you work the next loop, you're going back down, you're sliding it back down. Keep going until the end of the row. End of the, the, the foundation chain. Keep going. Just a few more. If you've been crocheting for a bit and you're trying this Neat this uh, um, new one out, uh, Tunisian crochet. It may be getting a little used to because sometimes you know your hands and fingers will, you know, muscle memory it wants to work them off. Just so that's totally normal. And then feeling these loops onto your, your hook, it might be feel weird, but again, totally normal. So that here, that was our forward pass for our foundation row. And see how it as working through the bumps, it creates a nice bottom row um, edge to your work. So that's another the one of the reasons why to work through the bumps. So since we're not turning our work, we need to get these loops off our hook. So here the and we do that with the return pass. We chain one. And then now we're going to yarn over and then pull through these two loops. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops. And then we'll keep going until we have one loop left on the hook. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Once again, one more time. Few more times. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Now we got one loop left. And there goes our foundation row. So with whichever, unless a stitch is calling for something differently, then that is how you will start any type of stitch with um, Tunisian crochet. You want to do this foundation row to set you up correctly. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, if you want to see more um, patterns being created with Tunisian crochet, um, let me know in the comment section below as well. Um, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps me a lot. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below so you'll be kept updated on all the latest videos from The Working Yarn. Wherever you are in the world, happy crocheting. Bye!